Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. I'm really glad to be helping you get started. In this video we're going to cover basic navigation and dashboard functionality. This includes navigating desktops, changing parameters, sorting and filtering, exporting and emailing. Let's get right into it. Click on the red icon and you'll see a list of all the desktops that are available. What you see depends on how you're set up by your system administrator. Use this to navigate. A desktop can contain several different dashboards. These can be tables or graphs, scoreboards, leaderboards, text, images, or even videos. We're going to take a look at the overview dashboard. It contains several different reports. Each report has title, parameters, some sort of content, and filters or legend at the bottom. Let's say you're interested in a report for this quarter instead of this month. Left click sales date. Choose the period you're interested in and update. Let's say you're further interested in only looking at what's been sold. You can use the filters at the bottom. Filter away information or select information so you get the right view. If you point to the specific table, here you'll get drill down information so you can really dig into the details. If you want to go even further into the details, click on the super office icon and you go right into it. You can explore the whole case. Now let's look at how we can sort and filter in, in uh, tables. Here you'll see already that everything is sorted according to amount in ascending order. If you want to change the order, simply click on it. If you want to sort by more columns, click on the column heading and you will see the second priority has come up. You can work even more with sorting and filtering by using the right menu. Here you can sort by different orders and change the sorting priority. You'll also notice something called column filter. If you're interested in only information by Peter, for example, click on filter. And update. Now you've got just the view you want of your information. But what do you want to do when you want to get this out and share this information? You have two choices. You can either export it as a PDF or as a Word document. You can also share it by email or print it. So we use this menu here. Click on export and make your choice. Either you can export the whole dashboard or you can choose the different elements that are on it. Choose and set up the right criteria and either print it out, save it or send it as an email. So that concludes the introduction video. Thanks for now. Remember to follow us on Facebook so you get notified when we post new tips.